It is customary to stand and face the flag to reaffirm our allegiance for freedoms and privileges we experience every day. Please respectfully stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back to The Forecast. I'm Maddie and this is Vicki. Thanks for tuning in, Eastview. We've got a great show for you today. We've got Josh giving you the sports update. And later on, we've got a story on the school's ultimate Frisbee team, Zeus. And a surprise visit from the three captains. Cool, can't wait. In the meantime, let's get to some announcements. Students and fans, come cheer on the Eastview Varsity Baseball team at their home opener against Lakeville South today at 4.15 p.m. at the Varsity Field. The Eastview winner will Win the, uh, the Eastview Varsity win over Lakeville South scores a Keynes Challenge BOGO, a buy one get one at, of the number one box combo at their Apple Valley location. Let's go Lightning and meet the Keynes Challenge. Last chance for the 2011-2012 school year, Eastview High School is offering the ACT prep course to help you prepare for this important test. This course provides 15 plus hours of focused study and preparation for the ACT test. Registration is due for Friday on <laughs> registration for the next session is due Friday, April 20th. Classes are filling fast. Early registration is encouraged. We will run a week-long session in, in August. Watch the web page for updates. Service Link will have our April meeting on Thursday, April 12th at 7.05 a.m. in C331. As always, you will only need to attend one of the meetings. If you have any questions, be sure to stop in and see Ms. S. in C338. Yearbook orders. Yearbook orders are $85. Orders can be submitted online only. Bravo tickets are now available. More tickets have been re released for online sales. To purchase online tickets, go to the Eastview homepage, click on Arts and Activities, then Theater Box Office. Tickets can be purchased online through the run of the show. Performance dates and times are April 27th and 28th and May 3rd through 5th at 7.30 p.m. and April 29th at 2 p.m. All boys lacrosse players are to turn in their cookie dough fundraiser orders and payment next Monday, April 16th in room C250. Varsity and JV players should report at 2.30 and prep players report at 3.30. Attention all football players currently in grades 9 through 11. For all students interested in playing football next fall, there will be an informational meeting on Thursday, April 12th. Students should attend either the 7 a.m. meeting or the 2.40 meeting. Both will be held in C250. Last night, the girls track and field team had a meet here at Hopkins. It was their second meet of the season. The girls did a great job, and with great performances at their second meet, they have high hopes for the season. Keep up the good work, girls, and come support the girls track team at their next meet on Tuesday. Signing off for the forecast, this is Allie. On Monday, the boys' 9B baseball team played Rosemont on what seemed like the coldest day of the spring, the lightning overcoming frozen hands and red cheeks. This Wednesday and Monday, May 7th, games have been canceled as Lakeville South doesn't have a 9B team. Last night, the Eastview Ultimate Frisbee team, Zeus, won 13-12 against Egan High School. Overall, we think it's going to be a really good season. We really got a good look at how the season's going to turn out. And yeah, feeling good about it. This year on Zeus, we've got, it's not really young players. We've just got a lot of new players. There are a lot of people from junior, that are juniors and seniors that are coming into um, this season with no experience and they actually have a lot of talent and I have a good feeling that the kids that are on the team this year are going to be able to carry us in the next year. Yeah. Right, the season's gone great, we've got some really good players, uh, we have really good things that we're looking forward to this year. Come out and support the team at their next game. So with us we have Kevin, Patrick and Ranji, the Zeus's captains. So we have some questions for you guys. How do you feel the season's going so far? Um, so far we're doing well. Um, we've had two games and we've won both of them. We have um, some. We have three great coaches this year, and we have some. Um, we have some new guys who are um, working well. Um, and um, each game, it seems like we improve a bit, so that's always a good thing. How is ultimate frisbee different from other sports? Well, ultimate is different because we're not a school-sanctioned sport, which means that a lot of the responsibilities fall on the shoulders of us three captains to keep our group running. And what's your favorite part about Zeus? 
My favorite part about Zeus it, are the friendships that you form with the teammates. At the beginning of the season, you don't know them very well, but through all the tournaments and games, uh, you form great bonds with these guys, and it's great to see them almost every day. Cool. Well, thanks for coming and chatting with us. Let's get back to some announcements. The tennis team opened the conference schedule with a convincing win over a very good Lakeville North team 5-2. to two. Winning were the number one singles Will, number two Tommy, the number one doubles team of Dan and Jay, and the number two doubles team of Eshon and David, and the Twin Towers, Reed and Tanner at number three doubles. Next up, we traveled to Lakeville South on Thursday to take on the Cougars. These few boys track and field team showed strength in last night's cold while competing with some stiff competition at Lakeville. Go Lightning! The Eastview Speech Team won the Section 3AA Team Championship last night and qualified 12 entries, 13 students, to the MSHSL State Speech Tournament to be held on April 21st. Prom Committee meeting tomorrow at 7.10 a.m. in C-139. Please note the start time and be on time. Bravo Chorus Guys, please note the costume distribution has been canceled for today and rescheduled to next Wednesday. Bravo Costume Crew, there is no meeting or work time today after school. Student Council members, MCA Bagel Distribution, next Tuesday and Wednesday before school. Sign up, sir. Outside of C232, see Mr. Kelly with questions or concerns. There will be a general SAD meeting on Thursday, April 12th at 7 a.m. in C235. We will discuss the mop crash and order t-shirts. So Vicki, I'm so excited for the next Zeus game. Will you go with me? Of course, and make sure to follow Zeus on Twitter at Zeus Ultimate. See you later, ECU. Bye.